Hello and welcome everyone. We have yet another country making its way into our beloved war selection to cover and this time it is France. France focuses on two military branches, tanks and aviation. Once we arrive in the first industrial revolution, we unlock the farm and goliath in the airfield. This bomber plane replaces the bomber balloons and carries one ridiculous 800 damage bomb. With a slow speed of 80 and no damage to town halls, this is a great aggressive unit when you are able to rush industrial quickly or a great defensive unit up until IR2 when the enemies start sending heavy tanks like the mouse. Two units that we have to research in the arsenal first are the FT-17 which requires light tanks to be researched and the 2C which requires heavy tanks to be researched. The FT-17 light tanks have a decent chance to bring the old light tank rush back into the game and will on the other side give light cannons of Turkey more meaning in the game. The 2C heavy tank will be a real threat to any enemy who is not prepared to defend against tanks. This tank also comes with a machine gunner which allows to defend against infantry and cavalry that might otherwise block your tanks from moving. And a very important notice here is that these tanks and overall more tanks in the game now come with the ground attack order, which allows them to clear forests and will reduce the frustration you encounter when you have a tank army but the enemies have a tree standing in the way of your approach. The last unit of the first industrial revolution for France is the aircraft carrier, available in the docks as soon as you have built three airfields. This naval unit will allow for interesting raids on the enemy's economy and army by functioning as a mobile airfield that cannot produce airplanes on its own, but repair and refuel all your planes, while being able to shoot at enemy air units and repairing itself after getting attacked. In the second industrial revolution, France's aircraft carriers can be upgraded into heavy aircraft carriers which allows the carrier to service two planes at a time, increases its HP by a huge amount and quadruples the anti-air combat potential of your ship. At this stage, enemy air units will not be able to destroy your carrier anymore and will be forced to build a fleet in order to destroy your carrier. Of course, the best choice will be torpedo boats which can defend against planes of the carrier while sending it to the bottom of the ocean very quickly. Although a battleship for vision is probably recommended. Your 2C heavy tanks can be upgraded into the FCM F1, which instead of one cannon and a machine gun comes with two cannons. Their population cost of 19 suggests to not build too many of these and rather build it as a support tank that can push your enemy's troops while your other troops flank and deal damage. The APC is replaced by the saint Germain, which has a weaker combat potential by itself due to the limited firing angle, however it specializes on what makes the APC so great and that is troop capacity. The saint Chamon comes with 10 seats, allowing for a sneaky RPG flank that your enemy might mistake for a simple economy raid. 5 saint Chamons can carry 50 RPGs and combined only costs you 140 population, so that you can still boom your economy or have some defensive bombers in place. Last but not least, France has a default R2 jet fighter and bomber replaced with their own Devotoin D520 jet fighter and the Potin 633 bomber. Two fast Fascinating planes with serious damage potential. The D520 jet fighter deals 18 times 50 damage per attack, which is 30 bullets more than the default jet fighter with 18 times 20 damage per attack, which allows to take out an enemy jet fighter with just two planes in one strike instead of four. The Potel 633 bomber gets an extra bomb per attack while coming with a machine gun turret that allows to defend against enemy air units. Overall, France gives us a really exciting new nation in the game while also raising the value of some units that were not seen so often on the battlefield. The British LMGs will be great to deal with the new bomber plane in IR-1 and their howitzers short range will be no big deal against the French tanks. At the same time, sea superiority becomes ever more important in the face of a never-ending bomber raid routing on the open sea. Turkey's light cannons will have great new targets to shoot at, while their Zamboraks might become very important when flanking a French player's tanks. Russia's death size will lose importance when light and heavy tanks can show up in IR-1 already, and Indian mortar elephants will be able to easily counter a light tank rush in IR-1, as they can walk away from the F-17 tanks while raining down destruction upon them. Germany will probably struggle the most now and rely on teammates like Russia, with very effective anti-air units, to protect their pressure 
Precious Big Bertas. Well, thank you guys for listening to my rant on France. Overall, I'm excited to see how its appearance on the battlefield will change the meta. And tactics for each nation. And to reward your patience, I will have a little giveaway going for you, loyal viewers. Simply comment your favorite unit of France or any nation under this video, or let me know what kind of videos you would want to see on my channel in the future. Adding your Discord tag to your comment will give me the necessary verification that you, who I randomly draw as a winner, are indeed the winner, and I can contact you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.